First look at Awaken OS based on Android 13 running on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And this here is our beloved Poco F1. And guess what? We are running Android 13 over here on this bad boy. And as you can see, ROM here is Awaken OS version 3.0. Security patches from August. SE Linux is set as enforcing out of the box. Kernel here is Silver Core. This is how the ROM comes out of the box. You do have your pixel launcher in the building. Select works like a boss. Screenshot works like a boss. And then this is how the power menu looks like. And this here is your quick settings panel and of course the settings button the power button have been moved to the bottom right the edit button is over here the gesture bar is a bit thick and a bit wide you do have the new tiles which have been added with android 13 which include your scanning the qr code one-handed mode color correction all those options available working like a boss next up google apps are baked into the rom and if i go into the google play store and then we can head over to the settings of play store go into about bam here it is play protect certification device is certified which means banking apps are going to work like a boss with respect to your youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works live translate works picture in picture works and the assistant lady yes she's present and she works with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well now with respect to your google photos as you can see this pixel can back up unlimited photos and videos at no charge let us try to edit a picture of my favorite football star and as you can see we have the option of portrait light here it is working like a boss without any issues now the option which might be missing over here is the option for magic eraser so unfortunately that option is not present in this specific rom next up with respect to your hardware now camera app the one which is baked in is your aosp based camera but gcam will be linked in the description and in the pinned comment on this video other than that bluetooth works absolutely fine wi-fi also works absolutely fine without any issues then we can head over to the settings page and as you can see scrolling here pretty smooth pretty cool the search bar on top in settings is pinned in Android 13. Let us have a look at the gestures, app opening animations, any lags, any issues, no such issues in that regard. And another thing you will notice over here is that the Chrome browser which I'm using right now is in Hindi and that is because I have enabled per app language for this. So if you go into settings and then you can go into system, go into language and input, you have app language and here and for all the supported applications you can choose languages on a per app basis so as you can see for chrome i have selected hindi but you do have a bunch of other languages present as well then if you go into the apps section and let us go into the messages let us go into permissions you will notice you have a few new permissions over here so you have music and audio and you have photos and videos previously you used to have only files and the other permission which is new here is the one for notifications so whenever you open an application for the first time in android 13 it will ask you do you want to let this app send you notifications next up let us head over to the battery section now with awaken os you do get your thermal profiles and bam here it is these are the different thermal profiles which you can choose the option of battery percentage strangely is missing but if you go into battery saver you do have the pixel exclusive battery saver available and working without any issues next up we can head over to the next option which is your sound and vibration so here and of course you can control the different volume levels you do have your do not disturb live caption as we mentioned earlier as well working along with adaptive sound now playing is broken if you go into vibration and haptics you can configure all these different toggles which you see on your screen right
right now unfortunately you do not have the option of configuring the vibration strength for say your messages your typing your media all those are absent and then you have toggles for all the other options which you see on your screen right now along with the option of me sound enhancer and clear speaker is also present jumping over to display here and of course you do have your adaptive brightness going to lock screen you can of course enable or disable the big clock or do you want the small clock on your lock screen by using this toggle then if you want to control your smart devices from the lock screen you have to enable this toggle over here going to advanced you have your ambient display wherein you can enable and disable pickup raise to wave hand wave and pocket mode other than that you also have your screen timeout along with a toggle for screen attention now those of you who do not know what screen attention does feel free to pause and read then you have a toggle for dark theme and now with android 13 you have the option of scheduling your dark theme to turn on at bedtime however for this option to appear you will have to go into the clock application and set up your bedtime once you do that you will get the option in dark theme as well if you go into display size and text here and you can change the font size you can change the display size you can make the text bold you can have high contrast text and in case you mess up you have a toggle to reset all of those sorry that is a button down there not a toggle then of course you have your night light go into colors and you can change the rgb strengths now what i would appreciate here is an option to reset all of these but do note android 13 still in its early days so i'm pretty sure the developers are going to add those options down the line then you have your auto rotate screen double tap to wake present and works like a boss next up you have the option of security now in security unfortunately on this build you do not have ir face unlock i'm pretty sure it's going to take some time for that feature to be ported to android 13 but you do have your fingerprint unlock super fast crazy fast works without any issues going to privacy you do have your privacy dashboard and if you go into permission manager here you will notice that you do have the new permissions which were added with android 13 so you have files and then you also have music and audio and you have photos and video similarly in privacy dashboard if you go in to see other permissions you should have the same ones so you have photos and videos and you have music and audio so there are separate categories for all those options which have been added newly with android 13 then let us jump over to system so in system of course we did check out your per app language control live translate as i mentioned earlier works without any issues go into gestures you have your press the power button twice to open the camera go into system navigation you can choose between three different options so you do have your gestures and of course you can swipe to invoke the assistant lady then you can configure the left edge and right edge sensitivity then you have your two button navigation and you also have your three button navigation wherein you can press and hold the home button for assistant once you enable this toggle and in your two button navigation again you have the same toggle of hold home for assistant one handed mode is present and it works without any issues press and hold the power button of course you can customize this for assistant or you can use it to just turn off or reboot your device and three finger screenshot present works without any issues going back into system you do have your rules so of course you can set up your wi-fi to turn off automatically as soon as you leave your home and before i forget yes you do get the new android 13 style media player the worm progress bar does look pretty cool and pretty dope so what is the final take on awaken os available for the poco f1 of course based on android 13 now do remember android 13 is pretty new and i think it is good news that we have awesome developers and we already have a pretty good stable build of android 13 running like a boss on the poco f1 and of course all the relevant links all the files everything can be found in the description of this video and that will do it for this one Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.